Hello, it's Len from Straight Talk from the Homeland. Uh, as you can see, it's a winter wonderland here in r and &E, and uh, I'm on a memorial bridge that we built for one of our fallen heroes uh, during the attack in uh, Jamuk. Today I want to talk about the lessons learnt from the uh, ethnic cleansing, the genocidal attacks by uh, Azerbaijan, uh, last year and I guess some people might not like what I'm going to say because uh, they might be defensive about it but I think you'll agree that everyone needs to learn lessons from all of this to strengthen this country so that's the uh, background which I uh, wish you to take these words uh, we're talking about indigenous Armenian people ethnically cleansed and listening to Western governments who, as we can see by what's happening in Gaza, don't have any moral uh, position. They just do whatever they do for their own self-interest, particularly to uh, protect Israel. So, as far as I'm concerned, that was a grave error of judgment, listening to Western governments and saying it's actually okay for uh, Artsakh Seas to be part of Azerbaijan or even soft ethnic cleansing as they horribly called it. In the end it wasn't anything like that. So the government itself needs to hang its head, particularly as it knew uh, six months before that this was going to happen uh, because the government officers called around the different communities here in uh, rural Armenia and asked how many places do you have uh, empty for refugees? Uh, they didn't bother asking of course whether uh, these buildings were habitable or not they just multiplied by five and that's how they got their magic number so it ended up after everybody uh, had fled that uh, uh, area that people like us ordinary people ended up trying to uh, house and shelter and look after people in buildings even without toilets so that's a lesson that's one listening to Western governments and not thinking about the Armenian people themselves. Two, not planning ahead properly. Uh, and three, not being open with the Armenian people. I'm sorry, but this is the truth. As for the municipalities, we know that there's a lack of competency uh, here. Uh, and we see it with months and months taking to even get paperwork done for installation of basic sanitary services. That's not good enough either. The main message I wanted to say today is about uh, learning uh, community spirit. Because what we see, uh, yes, there are a lot of people that want to help, especially from the diaspora, and we're very uh, happy with that. Uh, thank you for all your assistance. But we don't see that uh, people here uh, unlike in Western countries, that they have a community spirit when there's a tragedy, they come together and they don't ask for any money, they just come together to help to build a house or, or do whatever is necessary in such a tragedy. No, we're seeing people trying to take advantage of these uh, refugees, trying to charge uh, all sorts of uh, uh, extras and you know, trying to get some money where there wasn't money before for refugees and what was uninhabitable uh, uh, houses. So that's not good enough. And I think the government needs to take uh, a role here in educating young people especially about what is a community spirit uh, and also what's the benefit of volunteering. I mean, all of us want to, after we have our basic needs met under Maslow's theorem, we need to reach our peak of uh, satisfaction for ourselves, that we've done a good job, we've, we've actually made a difference in our lives, right? It's called self-actualization. So that's the sort of thing we need to teach, that it's actually it's something that really empowers people, makes people feel really good when they do something for others. And that spirit is not evident here right now in Armenia. Uh, there are, of course, individuals uh, who we treasure, uh, but they're unfortunately very rare. So today's message is all about uh, learning lessons from the past, strengthening this country with being a little bit more honest uh, when it comes to tough situations, planning 
and a community spirit that brings this country together and strengthens the nation. This is Len from Straight Talk from the Homeland.